Hey everybody, it's April Holly Smith and I just feel like I need to sit down and have a little chat with you because the last couple of days have been real difficult around this house. Real difficult. What do you mean it's been difficult? Well, literally every single one of us has gotten sick. Started off with Lillian, hot, puking everywhere and like without warning, like ugh. And then it progressed to, to Evelyn. And Evelyn had both ends. Oh, everywhere, dude. Just everywhere. I did a ton of laundry with Lillian. And I thought, oh, it'll be done. And then I have literally, I think for the last five days, done nothing but laundry. And when I, when I say that, I'm not joking. Look. I've just, I've done so much laundry. I just can't justify running the dryer even more. Especially because like today I don't but I have had the air conditioner on in the last couple of days because it was like 90 and really humid it was the humidity not even so much the temperature so I'm doing as much as I can um, on the, the drying rack and I would run that fan anyway so I just change a direction there's air moving in here and this this is just really you know denim takes forever to dry so uh, <clears throat> and also I had it out front on the, the rack Hi. You're all done? Good girl. Have rest of your zip this. I want you to finish drinking that because it's got electrolytes in it. It'll help you to make sure you don't get sick anymore, okay? She's been eating. Uh, Evelyn has not so much, but it's been real important to get those electrolytes into her. Because, like I say, everything she's taking in, a lot of it, anything solid is coming back out. And sometimes the liquid's coming back out too so it's like oof. so I've been giving her a zip fizz every day trying to uh is it empty lid off I heard you I understood Me Me ah. here you go anyway um Evelyn like I said just been like really hot and sick and her fever did finally break yesterday but she was still expelling a lot of food. Like, I feel like we got one meal down her, <clears throat> but she still threw up once during the day, and then she threw up in the night last night, which is why. So I uh, have one last set of blankets in the, the washer, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take them out and put them on because I think it stopped raining. It was actually raining earlier. I was like, ugh. So, <sighs> just been exhausting I can't even explain to you I'm sure you probably understand because you've all been sick but like Saturday I sat here and Chris sat across from me on the table and we literally just like stared at each other and it was like I remember actually saying out loud I I'm exhausted this is all I can do is just sit here and look at you and it's exhausting me and he's like I totally understand because that's how it was for him. And the thing is, is, Saturday was a big day. Like, we got up in the morning and we went to Touch Truck, which was really cool. And then we went to the um, karate tournament, which also was really cool. But I just remember being at the karate tournament at, like, noon, like, being so tired. So tired. And then we came home and it was just literally, we sat there and looked at each other. But then I still had to go grocery shopping. Like, I didn't leave the house to go grocery shopping until like 3.30. And I was just like, if I don't get up and go, I'm not going to get it done. Popsicles. No popsicles. You need to finish your zip fist. No. Right. No, you need to finish your zip fist. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so I did finally get that done, but I, I it was an abbreviated shopping. And my mom had worked Saturday morning, so I was like, dude. It's late in the day. Maybe she'll want to go. And I, if I would not have had her, I don't think I would have gone. I just don't care. I can feel coming across. Feels good. I don't think I would have got done anything with her. And then on Sunday, literally, Chris is like, "What do we have planned today?" And I'm like, "We're gonna sit in these chairs and stare at each other again." He's like, "That sounds exhausting and wonderful all at the same time." <clears throat> it was the same thing like Sunday. Uh, I finally, at like 3 o'clock, I was like, if I don't film the every dollar and I don't edit this haul, I am not going to do it. I mean, thank God that both, that like Chris and I did not, <clears throat> because, ugh, but I'm going to tell you, my stomach, you can just feel it like, ugh, <clears throat> oh, 
terrible. Honestly, I feel like we got like the norovirus. I got the norovirus one other time and it was terrible. And I just felt like it was terrible. Like, and then on Sunday, Evelyn would sit in the chair and Chris had put towels down and some stuff because you know, like, and she would cough and cough and like cough until she would throw up and then sometimes she would cough until she pooped. Well, that was a real bonus, wasn't it? Uh. No rain? That's good. We should go down to the laundry and get that. I'll be right back. We're going to go get that out of the dryer. Okay. I got all that swapped out. I got, look, okay, so new fresh blanket here. Got the uh, other blanket outside. I got some t-shirts of Chris's too, since that's one blanket. It's not a full load. It's close, but now I'm like exhausted. I'm super tired again. I'm feeling better, but I mean, he, my voice is still not right. I'm okay if I just talk for low, but I cannot um, project at all or yell. <clears throat> and I, yeah, I still have the, and sometimes if the snot starts moving, I get like terrible coughing and it hurts because stuff is coming up. So it's like projectiles inside my esophagus. Uh, it hurts, it burns, it's terrible. So. I am finally feeling better. That's great news. Um, so some of the other updates that I'm going to share with you is that Chris is, you know, he's been having his shoulder, having a problem with his shoulder and the other shoulder has started to hurt because essentially it's an overuse. In, this is an overuse injury, repetitive motion injury from him working in the forge. And he finally, he couldn't stand it, so we went to the doctor, and the doctor has put him on light duty, sent him in for x-rays to see if he has like a torn rotator cuff or if it's tendonitis or essentially the x-rays are to see if he needs like physical therapy or if he needs surgery, like, so went and got the x-rays on Friday, went to the doctor on Friday, went got the x-rays on Friday. Um, <clears throat> and the doctor told him just go in and schedule the physical therapy, just start on that. He has the evaluation for that tonight. And then he's gonna go two or three times a week, so. Wow. Ouch. Ouch. The nice thing about that is, um, well, he's not allowed to lift anything more than 10 pounds. So instead of them sending him back to his department where he would never lift anything more than 10 pounds, he would always use a piece of equipment like a crane, a tow motor, a forklift. And he would press buttons on the saw. And uh, potentially he could pick up a billet that was under eight pounds to uh, measure it or something like quality, whatever. Oh, so. They have not sent him back to his actual department. They've kept him in the forge still. And they have him just I, lubing, which is spraying the dye between pieces and hits. And he says it's really boring. Um, and he says even after a while, that will hurt his shoulder. Again, it's repetitive motion. But it is not so bad as when he has to take the billet and, out and, and trim it and all that. Like, Because there's like three or four different jobs on a rotation on one press and like so you have one guy that's on the floor that moves the full boxes and brings um he would bring the billets that like the raw pieces then somebody would take those and put them in the in the um the forge and press it three or four times or whatever it needs to be done he takes it out <clears throat> it goes on a conveyor belt to the trimmer and that person knocks off the excess yeah Oh yeah, you can play with that. And then the then there's a fourth person that as the person puts it in the, the raw billet and stamps it, stamps it, as he's taking it out and putting it on the conveyor, he comes in and lubes it. He puts in stuff so that it doesn't get stick stuck. So and then the floor guy, the, the first guy that I told you about, the one that brings the billets, he takes the boxes with the hot empty parts outside, like with the forklift. So <coughs> I don't have a key. But yeah, you can. Yeah. You button it. 
So anyway, he's still doing that, but because he's on light duty and can only lift so many pounds, he has to be on 40s. He cannot be on overtime, which is a sweet blessing. Also, one of the questions that got answered because it was like, well, if he goes back to the forge, is he going to be second shift? Is they going to try and put him on third shift? Or what are they going to do? So he is still on first shift in the forge, seven to three. Another blessing is because he's off at three, he does not have to take a day off of work to go to physical therapy in the afternoon, which is really great. So thank goodness. Anyway, um, that's the update for that. All right, so I had to go check on the kids for a second. I also rearranged my laundry while I was up. So anyway, we're on 40s, so that means like half checks which are really regular checks, but we're just so not used to them, it's gonna seem like a giant pay cut. So, although I'm so glad to see him in the afternoon, it's like he gets home in the middle of the day is what it feels like. And the kids keep asking, is daddy going to work today? Cause he was home yesterday, like he comes home before they go to bed. Cause usually he sees them in the morning and then um, he doesn't see them at night. They're in bed, like, so it's a funny thing. But. So that's the update for our terrible, yucky illness. Chris is still not feeling the best, but we are getting better. The kids are getting better. No one's thrown up since this morning. Hopefully, I'm hoping tomorrow will be a no laundry day because there's like three towels and that's it. And because three towels is not a full load and I keep <clears throat> putting stuff in with the blankets to make a full load. So it's like nothing. I keep totally, uh, um, throwing stuff in and I'm putting it away, but like nothing is, nothing's building up. But all right guys, I just wanted to have like a, a five minute talk with you which I know this is way more than five minutes and I'm not sorry about that I wanted to share with you about <coughs> the illness and stuff like that so um, with Chris's, Chris's situation so hopefully we're all gonna keep our fingers crossed we're gonna pray and send good vibes or whatever you do with the universe in part in part for him so that he gets better and that he is healed permanently so um, and another thing is if you don't watch my frugal life I just really am impressed with her um, and she is like the she's like a serious frugal person so like when she says to do this or to do that like I just she's serious like it's a, a trustworthy a very serious thing but um, her husband he had a a health incident really not that long ago and I know she hasn't talked about it a lot but um, I know he was off work so maybe send some prayers or good vibes or impart to the universe that he continue to um, to get back to 100% because you know their family is he's, he's a he's a provider um, and I want all of our YouTube community friends and the in the frugal, frugal community to be healthy and 100%. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.